Welcome to another episode of my Big 3 Challenge series where I take three players from league history, put them on the same team, and simulate one season with them and see if they win an NBA championship. So for this one, I got LeBron from the 2006-2007 Cleveland Cavaliers, the 2011-2012 Miami Heat, and the current day Cleveland Cavaliers. Put them all on the 06-07 Cavs because that is the worst team that LeBron is in in this game. So let's see how we do in this season. Let's see if we can beat the Bulls 72 and 10 record or win 34 straight games. We actually lose to the Bulls to start off our season. We lose by six. Obviously all three LeBrons were the leading scorers because this team is full of LeBrons and there shouldn't be any really real reason why they shouldn't be leading the team in points. So far, we are not atop of the East. We are actually second to the Pacers, who are 16-3, and three, but they actually go on a bit of a losing streak. Game against the Warriors, we end up winning by 1, 112 to 111. Things are looking pretty great. We beat the Nuggets, which in these challenge videos, it seems like I always lose to the Nuggets, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We beat the Spurs by 1, but then lose to the Warriors at home by 3, lose, lose to the Clippers by 6. Going up against the Spurs on the 30th, beat them by 23 points. Things are looking great, and we end our pre-All-Star break on an 11-game winning streak. We are 42-10, and 10, so unless we win 30 straight games, it looks like we're not tying the Chicago Bulls record of 72-10. and 10. Here is the Eastern Conference standings at the All-Star break. Obviously, the Sixers are the worst team, and then obviously the, the Lakers in the West are the worst team. Pelicans 33 and 20, that is pretty surprising. And no surprise here, the Golden State Warriors, they are atop of the West. We actually have the same exact record as they do, so we definitely need to make a push to get the best record in the NBA if we want to have home court advantage in the NBA Finals. The Miami Heat LeBron leads our team in scoring and is eighth, well, is the eighth highest scorer in the NBA. And then the young LeBron, the 06-07 uh, LeBron, is the ninth leading scorer in the NBA, which means current day LeBron is our third highest scorer on the team out of the two LeBrons. He's actually down quite a bit. Uh, he is 35th in the NBA in scoring, but he is putting uh, up some nice all-around numbers shooting 29% from three, definitely not well whatsoever. And then right here, I was just showing you some comparisons between us and the Warriors, since we do have the same exact record. I really hope we can play the Warriors in the finals, because if so, that would be very entertaining to see like three LeBrons up against the Warriors, just to see if the Warriors could actually beat three LeBrons. So going on into the second half of the season, hopefully we can actually make some magic happen. We can Maybe win 30 games in a row. I doubt it, though, because winning, like, 11 games is hard in itself. But hopefully we can do it. I think we can do it. I think this team can do it. Let's see if we can. We're facing the Bulls our first game back, and we lose. So we will not tie the record set by the 95-96 Bulls of 72-10. and 10. But we might still have the best record in the NBA at the end of the season. We go 66-16. and 16. And does this really surprise you? Kevin Durant wins the MVP. Even with a team that has three LeBrons on it, Kevin Durant still wins the MVP. Our coach Michael Chrysdale, or Chris Dale, Chrysdale, well, however the hell you say his name, he wins the coach of the year, which is our coach. The Miami Heat LeBron makes the all NBA first team. There are his numbers on the year 23 points, about nine and a half rebounds, seven and seven and a half assists, one steal, and one and a half block. And really, nobody, no no other LeBron made any of the other teams. Obviously, we did finish first in the Eastern Conference with a 66-16 and 16 record. Uh, taking a look at the rest of the standings, really, uh, when you take a look at it, if I can hurry up and get to it, it was really us and then nobody else. The Bulls were 15 games behind us, then the Heat 17, and then the four-seeded Pacers were 21 games behind us. So we are definitely the clear-cut favorites in the Eastern Conference. And out west, the Warriors did get the number one seed. Clippers uh, tied with the Rockets. It goes Warriors, Thunder, Spurs, but the Thunder did tie with the Warriors, so that'll be, inter that'll be interesting to see how that plays out in the playoffs to see if the Thunder will end up losing to the Spurs or if the Spurs will beat the Warriors or if the Warriors will lose to the Warriors. Oh, no, the Warriors will lose to the Spurs. I think I just said the same thing like three times, man. I don't even know. 
You guys are taking a look at the player stats on the year. The young LeBron is the 12th highest scorer in the NBA, which means Curry de LeBron is the 25th highest score in the NBA. I mean, he moved up 10 slots, so that is pretty impressive. And then our, our player stats on the year. Having Ilgauskas, I think, like, really helps out this team because he's, like, 7'3", rebounding machine, and he's averaging 11 points and about 8.5 rebounds. So here we go, taking on the Raptors in round one. Speaking of the Raptors, actually, I think the Raptors could beat the Cavs in a seven-game series in the playoffs. We can discuss that in the comments if you guys so choose. We end up winning in five games but look at this game three man we won by 48 points like total domination right there Ilgauskas at 23 so now we are facing the Charlotte Hornets here in the second round we win game one no surprise win game two they tie well they, they don't tie it up uh, they win game three but once again another five game series now we're going up against Dwayne Wade and the Miami Heat. Let's see if we can win 3-1 and 4-1. So it is taking us five games to beat every single opponent. Let's see if the trend can continue against the San Antonio Spurs who beat the Golden State Warriors in five games. It is tied 1-1, but we win game three and game four, and it is looking like it'll take us five games once again. We are at home for game five. If we win this, we obviously win the NBA championship. I'm slowing it down, seeing what all is happening. It's tied at 93, so I actually end up jumping into this game. I didn't play it because I think that's unfair if I played it. With about two seconds left, they gave it to Tim Duncan in the post. He gets fouled by LeBron. Tim Duncan is now going to the line for two shots to potentially send this game to overtime. He makes the first one and would end up making the second one. So now it is on one of these LeBrons to end up hitting a game-winning shot. Let's see which one of them does it. It is the young LeBron full-court shot, and it is no good. So... Game five is going into overtime, tied at 95 at the end of the fourth quarter. Let's see who prevails in overtime. And long story short, in overtime, it was really dominated by LeBron. I know that's like really surprising, but look at this layup right here, blocked by Zodrunas Ilgauskas. Gives it to LeBron, and then LeBron gives it to LeBron, and then LeBron with the A on one. So many LeBrons, man. And that was basically the dagger as we would go ahead and win the NBA championship. Parker. Tremendous effort. I mean, this guy has already cracked double digits on the backboard. And those rebounds lead the team. I mean, he's been the tone setter for him today in terms of work ethic and uh, glass eating. Oh, they've done it. The Cleveland Cavaliers are the new NBA champions. Just tremendous. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying Clark this NBA championship moment. Well, Kevin, it's awesome to be here to witness what happened tonight. And seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs, what a joy. I mean, there is no better champion the league could have asked for. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone. So a team with three LeBrons does end up winning the NBA championship. They win in five games against the San Antonio Spurs. Now, some will say if they went up against the Warriors, it would have been a much different story. I, I actually did a test of this in my stream yesterday, and they got swept by the Warriors. So who knows if that actually ends up happening. Right now, I am showing you guys the playoff stats and leaders and points per game. The current day LeBron was the lowest on our team. And then there are the stats. Young LeBron with 25, Miami Heat LeBron with 24, and current day LeBron with about 20 points. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave your big three suggestions down in the comment section down below. I know that I'm already going to get do three MJs and do three Kobe's. 
I am already on that, all right? That uh, will be coming out. I will eventually do the uh, past three MVPs. I have a lot of ideas for this. This series depends on your guys' involvement, you guys telling me which be big threes to do. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace.